Good morning. Today's story is called The Burning Bush. Moses grew up in Pharaoh's palace as if he were Egyptian. Even though he knew he wasn't, he knew he was really a child of Israel, an Israelite. One day, Moses saw an Egyptian man hitting an Israelite worker. This made Moses really mad because he was an Israelite too. He got so mad and then, well, he killed the Egyptian. Yep, he got so mad that he did something wrong. Have you ever done something wrong when you were very, very angry? That's what Moses did. Moses knew he was in big trouble, so he ran off into the desert to hide for 40 years. That's a long time to hide, but he was sure that if he came back to Egypt, Pharaoh would find him and kill him. So he stayed in the desert. Moses hid in the desert for so long, he eventually met a nice lady named Zipporah. They got married, had kids, and Moses became a shepherd. His new life was much better than getting killed by Pharaoh. So Moses figured he'd just stay in the desert and never go back to Egypt. Never, ever, no matter what. So there's Moses and Zipporah and the sheep in the desert. Until one day, one day when Moses was minding his own business and his sheep in the desert, he saw something weird. A bush was burning, but it didn't burn up. It just kept burning and burning and never going away. That's weird, he thought. And then the bush said something. There's the burning bush. There's Moses. Then the bush said something. Well, it wasn't really the bush talking. It was God talking through the bush that was burning and burning. Since this was not a normal thing for Moses or anyone for that matter, he decided he better listen to what God had to say. Hey, Moses, said God, the children of Israel are having a terrible time in Egypt. I've heard them crying and it's time to save them and bring them to the land I promised. That's great, said Moses. Then God said, I want you to do it. You're going to go to Pharaoh and tell him to let the Israelites leave. And Moses said, that's a terrible idea. Moses explained to God that he wasn't very popular in Egypt. After all, he had killed a guy. And then God said, I'll come with you. Moses went on to say he really didn't like public speaking and that maybe someone else would be better for the job. Again, God said, I'll come with you. Moses asked why Pharaoh would even listen to him if he just showed up and said, let my people go. And once again, God said, I'll come with you. Then, as if the burning bush weren't impressive enough, God turned Moses' walking stick into a scary snake. Then he turned it back into his walking stick. Well, because he's God and he can do things like that. So 
So after Moses stopped running from the scary stick snake, stick snake, he asked, God, would you do cool stuff like that in front of Pharaoh? And God replied, yes, and stuff even more amazing than that. And Moses thought and thought and thought. And he finally said, okay, I'll go back to Egypt and you'll come with me, right? And then God probably said, what part of I'll come with you did you not understand? So very nervously, Moses and his family started walking back to Egypt and God went with him. You guys, we can do hard things because God is with us always. Do you remember why Moses thought he was a terrible choice to rescue God's people from Egypt? He was afraid. When have you needed to trust God because you were afraid? Let's pray, okay? Dear God, help us to remember that when you ask us to do something big, you always help us. Amen.